Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Tone Battles Episode 2, a series in which I do simple comparisons between mainly tube amplifiers, but also modeling platforms and pedals and stuff like that. In this episode, we're going to do a heavy rock high gain comparison of these two awesome amplifiers, the Laney Ironheart 60 and the Orange Rockerverb Mark III. But why did I choose these two amplifiers? Well, the main reason is that both of these amplifiers are just great for rock. They have plenty of gain. So definitely high gain amplifiers, but especially well suited for rock music. The wattage ratings are also similar. So 50 watts versus 60 watts. And this one has two EL34s in the power section and this one two 6L6 tubes in the power section. The size is also roughly similar, but the prices aren't similar at all. So that's also kind of an interesting twist as the Rockefeller 50 Mark III costs more than double the amount of what the Ironheart 60 costs. This one is made in the UK and this one is made in Asia, I think China. So yeah, I think this should be a very fun and interesting comparison. I really love both of these amplifiers for different reasons. The Rocker Verb is a fairly simple amplifier with just two channels, a clean channel and a dirty channel. It has a couple of nice features such as the built-in spring reverb and the built-in attenuator. But the Ironheart 60 has a lot more features on board. It has three channels, so a clean channel, a rhythm channel and a lead channel. Also reverb and a wattage control, a gain boost and a lot more voicing features on the EQ side of things. So all the EQs have push-pull options for more flexibility and more shaping options basically, which is a feature that I really like about this amplifier. I'm looking to make a full in-depth review of this amplifier on the channel soon, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. So in short, this is a kind of more expensive sort of boutique high gain amplifier, and this is a more affordable high gain amplifier. Anyway, so we're just gonna focus on the high gain tones in this video, just to see which one we fancy in this context. And the guitar that I'm gonna use is my ESP LTD EC1000T full thickness Eclipse tuned to drop C with the EMG57 in the bridge. It's a really fat sounding guitar with a full body and tons of sustain. And I'm using the Red 7 Amp Central Reactive Load and two different York Audio Impulse responses for the amplifiers, just to showcase the individual sounds of the amplifiers as best I can. I want the amplifiers to basically sound comfortable in the mix here, and cabinets can have great impact on the guitar tone. The IRT will go through the MES 412OS cabinet on Mic Mix 01, and the Rocker Verb will go through the ORNG 412V30 cab also on Mic Mix 01. Let's start by taking a listen to the Laney Ironheart 60 head. Here we go. that sounded really good. It had a really nice chunk to it and a very full mid-range that sat in the mix very nicely. This amp also has a very nice texture and grain to the mids that makes it sound really unique too and I really like that about this amplifier. In general I do think that this amplifier is really underrated. Now let's try the Orange Rockover Mark III on the Dirty Channel. Here we go.
Great. I really love the orange rock reverb sound in general, so that sounded really familiar to me. The highs were a bit more open sounding and a bit more sort of sizzly, and the mid range and the low end also had a different character. More smooth mids basically and slightly thicker lows. Now let's do an AB back to back comparison of these amplifiers. Great, and now also an isolated back-to-back -back comparison of these amplifiers with just the guitars. Very nice, so they obviously sound quite different from one another. I think they both sound excellent in their own ways, so again, it's pretty hard for me to pick a favorite, but for this song, with this guitar, with these riffs, in this case, I think I would go for the Laney IRT60H. It just had such nice and crunchy mids, and it sat in the mix very nicely, in my opinion. That doesn't mean that I don't love the orange, though. This is one of my favorite babies, so I still love you, girl. Anyway, of course, I'd love to know what your thoughts are, so do let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and why. Now, in the previous episode, someone suggested that it would also be cool to hear the amps panned against each other. So as we end the video, I'm gonna let you guys hear how it sounds when we pan the Laney all the way to the left and the orange all the way to the right. I bet that will also sound quite massive with a wide stereo sound. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a subscribe as that really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow us on our Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so, so much. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.